At 8.46 a.m. in the morning of September 11, 2001, the United States went to war on terrorism, but over 30 minutes earlier at 8.14, FAA's air traffic controllers were already at war. And it didn't take us very long at all to realize that the country was under attack. One of my most vivid memories of that day was how intensely personal this whole thing was to the people in the room. I mean, you have to understand, the people that work in the Eastern Region office and all throughout New York's uh, air traffic control facilities, those people, by and large, are from New York. So it was intensely personal on a couple of different levels. One, our, our occupation, uh, air traffic, was under attack by enemies of the country. And at the same time, everybody while dealing with that was dealing with the fact that most people had a friend, a neighbor, a family member, somebody they worked with very closely that actually worked in both of those buildings. So the challenge there was dealing with those kind of emotions while at the same time dealing with the crisis that was unfolding and changing by the minute. Uh, that's one of the first things that Mike McCormick took the initiative on was to shut down all of the New York arrivals and departures. And it was the right thing to do, and it was done rather quickly, well before other parts of the country were starting to shut down. But that day, there were a lot of questions. And uh, frankly, part of the challenge was getting what's really happening to our controllers so they could answer those kind of questions. I mean, you got to figure, there's a lot of air traffic controllers in Eastern Region. And uh, for them to get the, the word as to how they should respond to those questions, why you're still dealing with planes disappearing in the sky, uh, that was a challenge. And since that day, 10 years ago, we have never hung that telephone up and it's become the domestic events network. And right now we have over 150 government agencies, including a couple of foreign countries, that monitor that telecom 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The information exchange is lightning fast now compared to what it was on that morning. If we have any kind of situation in the skies, every single government agency up through the White House is aware of that situation at the exact same moment that we are, and we're all operating with the same information. You know, the flying public should know the FAA is certainly on top of all of this, and what happened before and the confusion that existed before will never happen again. And uh, hats off to all of the air traffic controllers out there that do that every single day of the week, 365.